Now, write these percentages as fractions. This is easy because we know that a percentage is just a fraction over a hundred. But see if you can write them in their simplified form. We have 47 hundredths. Here we have 70 hundredths, which we could simplify to 7 tenths by dividing our numerator and denominator by 10. Here we have 4 hundredths, which we can simplify by dividing by 4 to get 1 25th. And 80% is 80 over 100, but we can simplify that to 8 tenths, and we could simplify that to 4 fifths. Now pause the video and see if you can write these fractions as percentages. Here we already have a fraction over 100, so we have 24%. Now, 8 tenths is equivalent to 80 hundredths, so we have 80%. Here, again, we already have our fraction with a denominator of 100, so we have 5%. And here, to change 20 fifths into hundredths, we multiply by 4, so 3 20 fifths is equivalent to 12 hundredths, so that's 12%. Now pause the video and write these as decimals. We have 0 0.72, 0 0.4, 0 0.02 and 0 0.12. So notice, if it's a single digit percentage, like it is here with 2%, you use only the hundredths decimal place. Otherwise, you use both the tenths and hundredths, though for multiples of 10, like here with 40%, we only need to use the tenths column. That's because 40 hundredths is equivalent to 4 tenths exactly. It wouldn't be wrong to write 0 0.40, but we don't need to write zeros at the end of a number if they're after the decimal point. Now pause the video and write these decimals as percentages. We have 32%. Then we have 70%, not 7%. Why not? Well, 0 0.7 is 7 tenths, but percent means out of 100. And because 7 tenths is equivalent to 70 hundredths, it has to be 70%. 0 0.07 is 7%. And 0 0.1 is 10% because 1 tenth is equivalent to 10 hundredths. 